Hey, this is Lotus Com Express. We're here live with Deborah Voorhees, guys. What an honor it is to have her on the show. Thank you. We're here at Texas Frightmare, guys. And it's been an amazing weekend. So many more people this weekend than ever before, guys. So let's get right down to it. How are you doing today? I'm doing terrific. How about you? Hanging in there, you know, morning time, you know. So... Now, with, with all of the events that have gone on during the show and all of that, what, what, what have you thought so far? Oh, I, you know, I have been having a blast here. Yes, ma'am. The, the fans are terrific. I mean, everything has just gone really nice and smooth. A lot bigger than I anticipated. I didn't realize how big this was. It's huge. You know, yeah, and I agree. Um, frankly, this is only my second convention. I didn't expect so many people to come by and say hi, you know? Right. So it's been nice, very nice. Now, Mr. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Cryer, they, they do an amazing job at this convention. I mean, they really do. Yeah. As far as like the staff is amazing and the people that come here, like fan wise, fan base wise are amazing. They're all, they're all so nice to talk to, you yeah. know? So big fans with what you do as far as Friday the 13th. And big fans with what you do. I've seen some of the writing that you've done with the Dallas Morning News when you were involved with them. What got you actually into journalism? Well, um, I guess probably my first love was writing. Mm -hmm. I was in Los Angeles and uh, working as an actress and things. And I didn't feel like it was quite the right fit for me for a long term. Although I loved Hollywood and loved a lot of things, and I loved every you know project I worked on, it was fun. But I kind of viewed it as this magnificent life experience, and I'm like, okay, what's my next one? But that's kind of how I am. I'm always right. looking for the next one. And in journalism, you have this fabulous opportunity. Every day is different because what you're doing is you. different. So um, I was always meeting different people and new people, and um, you know, writing just suited me. I've done a lot of screenplays and. Um, you know, I've written a book, Memoirs of a Hitman. It's not published, but um, it's out there. One of these days, I might just go ahead and stick gonna, it online. Are you going to stick it online, or are you going to... I do that. I may. I haven't tried to get it published or anything. Um, Making an e-book or something, you Yeah, know? maybe do something like that. Because I, cool. I really... Um, it, it's one that's kind of close to my heart that I like a lot, so... Yeah. Yeah. That's very awesome. I mean, do you have any family background as far as journalism and stuff like that, or what... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, I've got a lot of family that's in journalism, right. so then that's why I thought I'd ask you as well. Right. Right. So as far as like all the films and all the stuff you've done, whether it's been writing, editorial, the movies that you've been in, mm -hmm. do you have something that really kind of sticks out to the uh, to you personally on a personal level? That I mean, as far as a, a, a as an experience. Um, well, of course, Friday the 13th was a blast to be on. Right. Uh, but besides that, I guess my uh, favorite one, other than Friday the 13th, is the Riptide episode that I did. It was just, it was a comedic piece that it was just flat out just fun, silly fun. And uh, both of the leads on, on the show were really nice. It was just, it was a great experience, That's too. Mm -hmm. So was it weird, I mean, reading the script? Because I, did you know a lot about Friday the 13th prior to... Um, of course, I, I knew it was famous, but I didn't, I don't go to scary movies, so I really didn't know that much about, I didn't go to a Friday the 13th, and I wasn't, I yeah, no, that looked way too scary for me now. So did you find it kind of odd that your last name is the same yeah, last name as Jason's? Isn't that funny, <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my condolences, I mean, if Jason's related to you, my condolences to you, ma'am. Well. You know, he's, he's had it pretty rough, you know. He has, he, he's actually a good boy. He's very, very misunderstood. He is very misunderstood. Very misunderstood. But he's a good boy. It's true. He's a very good boy. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Well, so as far as, like, do you have any future endeavors that you're working on that, you know, that our audience maybe that does not know your work that could go actually go out there and help support you? Great. Um, well, if you go to VoorheesFilms.com, yes, I just released a dark comedy uh, called Catching Up. And um, I'm also looking at a sci-fi right now and uh, looking at another scary movie to do with Molly. We were just that discussing awesome. that possibility. Thank you. I'm so glad you liked the film. Oh, absolutely. Very dark, very offbeat. It's from a fabulous um, playwright out of New York. His name's Tom Syme. Very dark sense of humor. And uh, that's what really attracted to me to it, this off-ball weirdness about it. That makes, that makes absolute sense. Like, have you ever gotten yourself into, like, uh, comedy horror as well, or just, just the generalized, like, dark 
kind of were like Jason. Kind of, it's kind of what I um, see myself doing with her is something in that comedic end. Edgar Wright is, yeah. I love his work. I think he's amazing. And so, yeah, I'm definitely um, been looking at his stuff and seeing, you know, where I can kind of fall in his footsteps some. Um, there was a guy by the name of uh, uh, John LeJoy. He's an, an amazing um, actor. He's a comedian, musician, performer. He's just, he's, and he's just a kind man. He did uh, uh, Wolfie's, it's, it's a new beginning. Mm -hmm. And um, you can find it online. It's a music video based on his experience when he first saw Friday the 13th and specifically saw my scene. That is awesome. And um, interestingly enough, the same response, he saw it when he was way too young. I'm Just guessing man. by the character, he was like eight years old. And um, I, uh, interestingly, I, need, I ended up being able to have a quick chat with Edgar Wright because, of it, because he had the same response that John did. Okay. And so he, I ended up, you know, through that triangle and I was just like, whoa, <laughs> you that know, awesome. and I was so honored to meet both of them, you know, because they're both so amazingly talented. I mean, John is every bit as talented in what he does as Edgar is right. in what he does. They're just both brilliant. So I was like, oh, I get to hang with the cool kids. <laughs> yes, you know? Do you have any heroes that you kind of uh, orchestrate or uh, kind of use as far as motivators, as far as your writing or your acting? Um, well, I, I guess it would be more along the writing, and I, I have several writers that I really love. I, you know, the, the dark comedy. You know, Edgar has written uh, some of his stuff. I love that. Uh, but I also love um, people like Aaron Sorkin, David Mamet, and, you know, that, that type of... Is they, have, they have a kind of a darkness to them. It's they not do. horror, but they have a darkness to them. Yeah, really I, I would agree with you. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some of the writings, but I haven't really had a chance to read all of it. But I've seen kind of some of it here and there. My mom's kind of shown me some writings from here and there based on those, based on those names. Right. So I'm a little familiar with it. Right. Not much, but as far as now, as far as with everything goes, uh, just one wrap-up question for you. But we were kind of wondering if you had any advice to, to offer the new generation of people that were coming in. And what would you say, offer? Say, are you talking about two other actresses coming Absolutely. in? Oh, okay. Um, hmm, that's a really good question. I, I want to really sit down and really think about. It. I guess I would just say, you know, search your heart. Yes, ma'am. And uh, decide what it is that you really want, and realize that uh, Hollywood it, it's it's a tough place. Yes, ma'am. Don't take it personal. Okay. Um, and realize that. There are very, very successful people that aren't necessarily at the top of the marquee, but Makes they sense. make really good livings and do very well. Uh, number one, though, the best thing, don't wait for someone to hire you. Make your life happen for yourself. See, with me, mm -hmm. that's been my entire career right there. Yeah. And so I totally understand and I agree with you. Right. A hundred percent. That's good advice. Yeah. Well, we we really appreciate the, the 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 very little time that you did have this evening, and as far as this mor as far as this morning goes, because right. again, I'm not a morning person. I'm just like you are in that in that facet. <laughs> but as far as the weekend, we really appreciate your time. Oh, well, thank, you. thank you very much for the time that you were able to have. You know, as far as the interview, guys, come check out Deborah Voorhees. Guys, she's amazing. Is what she does as far as a writer, an editor, an actress. Friday the 13th, guys, pretty amazing stuff. Now, come check her out, and we'll give you some more information on the website here soon. Come check out LotusComics.com, and we'll see you here real soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.